Welcome, and thank you for watching this video on ETAP Real-Time Intelligent Load Shedding. During this presentation, we will discuss how ETAP ILS overcomes common industry challenges, and the need for a proactive load preservation system. Any system is susceptible to large-scale disturbances, such as faults, generator trips, and islanding. The longer the load shedding system waits to react to disturbance, the more load is required to be shed. The system response to a disturbance greatly depends on the location of the event. For example, the power requirements from the generators will be greater when a fault is closer to the generation bus than far in an MCC in the process plant. The load shedding system needs to understand the location of the fault. Another important factor is the type of disturbance. Non-proactive systems do not differentiate between the type and location of the disturbance. Also, load is not constant. Every system is unique, but what is common is the variation on loading. Sometimes it could be cyclic or it could be random. Depending on how much load is there in the system at the time of a disturbance, the load shedding system needs to respond accordingly. Another very important factor is system topology. Breaker operations greatly affect the behavior of the power flows as they change the impedance seen to generations as well as the capacity of transferring power from point A to point B. Monitoring the operation of switching devices is a key factor in deciding which loads to drop as they could be in a separate network if islanding occurs. The key of an intelligent load shedding system is understanding the electrical network. If this is covered, the load shedding system will be able to accurately predict system response and therefore be prepared for transient and steady state disturbances. In ETAP ILS, this is achieved by the system model. The system model is represented in ETAP ILS by a one-line diagram of the system. In fact, this model is the same model utilized by electrical engineers on-site and consultants performing system analysis. The main difference is that this model is now connected to ETAP data acquisition system collecting data from the field via IEC 61850, DMP3, or other protocols. The intelligence of predicting system response is that the online data provides the current conditions of the network and the model provides us the understanding of the system, given that the model contains steady state and dynamic data of the components in the network. Governor and exciter settings that we can find in the model, transformer ratings, as well as other components gives us a complete understanding of the network behavior. ETAP ILS is looking at the entire network and not only at a single parameter or component to make decisions. This is also another important fact why ETAP ILS can perform optimization of the entire network. ETAP provides a clear picture of the system distribution as well as data required to understand system response. It enables operators and engineers to visualize the entire network distribution. ILS monitors existing operating conditions and uses this information to determine system response. This allows for a much smarter and faster intelligent load shedding. It then uses this information to determine how much load to shed for a given transient or steady state disturbance. In order for ILS to select the optimal loads to shed, it utilizes a user-defined load priorities. In addition, it is important to understand the process behavior. Hardware and process interlocks must be incorporated and taken into account. In the load control editor, we can add remove loads and update priorities and interlocks easily without the need to reprogram controllers or relays. Just manipulating the ILS default load priorities and grouping loads under the interlock achieves this goal. ETAP ILS provides a friendly interface to monitor the load shedding system. For each contingency being evaluated by ILS, the operator or engineer can monitor critical parameters such as spinning reserve, required load to shed, and actual load that would be shed if that contingency were to occur. ETAP ILS logic is available for engineers with the right permissions to perform modifications without going into the relays or PLCs. An unlimited number of schedules can be set up and updated into the ILS system without the need of bringing the system down. All we need to do is go to the server and update to select the new schedule. With the selected new schedule, there is a new priority list and loads to shed will be updated accordingly. All the events and alarms from the operation of load shedding are stored in the event viewer. 
This also includes loads that have been shed and triggers that have been executed. One of the most powerful capabilities of ILS is the automatic handling of loads to shed based on how the network is interconnected. The system can identify unlimited number of islands and shed loads accordingly. The ILS trigger monitor demonstrates one system index in both triggers and loads, the subsystem. This index indicates in which subsystem the loads and triggers are located. If the network islands, a new subsystem index is assigned to the new island. Simulating the islanding of this plant by setting the override on two breakers, the trigger monitor updates the loads into a separate subsystem. As we show in another example, it is important to understand that this is done automatically without the need of any programming. Based on the ETAP model, ILS understands the topology and performs the assignments of subsystems automatically. In an under-frequency system, it is almost impossible to set up system islands. In a PLC-based system, it can take hundreds of conditions to identify islands even in an industrial network. With ETAP, it's automatic. ETAP ILS can respond within 20 to 30 milliseconds to transient conditions. It can also perform time-controlled load shedding under demand response scenarios such as excess power demand, equipment overload, and sequential shutdown of process. But it is not limited to electrical disturbances. It can also respond to mechanical and electrical disturbances as well. The load preservation system is a very powerful yet easy to use application within ILS to optimize load shedding, identify islands, and respond to electrical and non-electrical disturbances. Another component of ILS is load restoration. Load restoration monitors electrical and non-electrical conditions to determine when loads can be restored or not. It also has the capability of automatically starting loads when safety permits. Load restoration comes with load inhibition, which becomes active until loads can be restarted safely. The HMI screens will indicate the operator when it is safe to start the load. This system utilizes load restoration logic and priorities to determine which loads can be started and when. It uses logical load sequencer to restart the process. It also has an open logic editor for customizing the logic. ETAP ILS is a complete suite that allows the user to start from simulation to implementation. After configuring the ILS system, the user can proceed to simulate the triggers in the ILS simulator. The ILS simulator is a duplicate of the real-time application with additional options including taking data from load flow module and user-defined data. After we evaluate the actions by viewing them in the ILS trigger monitor, they can be analyzed dynamically using the transient calculations. Once it is approved, the logic and priority tables can be updated to the real-time load shedding system. The load shedding system supports the engineer with validating the results from ILS before implementing it in the network. It can use real-time data as well as user-defined and simulated data. The validation process can consist of simulating and analyzing items such as loss of generation, under frequency, mechanical failures, steam pressure decay, overloads, and other conditions as well. Utilizing this simplified network, representing an industrial facility with on-site generation and tied to the utility, let's perform a validation study. Viewing the case of a utility trip within the ILS trigger monitor, we identify ILS recommends the highlighted breaker to trip. To perform a dynamic validation of the results, we can execute the transient stability case directly from ILS. We create the case and select to immediately run the study. Transit stability is automatically activated and the study is executed. To determine the effect of this system after this event, sub B frequency is plotted. We see that ILS has given us the correct results as frequency returns to the original operating value. In summary, ILS is a powerful, flexible, user-friendly load-setting solution for system operating generation and critical loads, 
where non-interrupted operation is a must. This proactive, faster-than-real-time load shedding system is used by many operators in the industry. We thank you for listening to this presentation. For more information or to ask any questions, please contact us at sales at etap.com. We look forward to working with you.